way out of this city, or we're all gonna die. Flavor Los Burritos. Outbreak of that scale, the city should be in no-fly zone. Shouldn't even be using an airport that close to the city. Relax. What's gonna hurt us up here? <laughs> you don't look so good. You okay? I got bit by some weird bee this morning on the tarmac. Maybe I'm allergic. <laughs> allergic, huh? Let's get this plane down on the ground. What are you crazy? Look for years is filled with sound. We're full of people here. I know how to deal with this.
back to the others. Citizens, we might not be in this mess. Those people are tracked by GPS. They're prisoners. They're following the law. Those GPS chips have Zombrex in them. They keep infected people from turning zombie. Oh, really? Must not have worked too well. Look outside. Oh, you illegals are nothing but trouble. Uh, Will you bitches shut up? They're gonna hear us. You know, why don't you calm the hell down, asshole? As long as they're outside, we got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Sombrex chips right there. Hey! Those are supposed to dose infected people with Zombrex, keep them from turning. And if they do turn, it's supposed to track them. I mean, isn't that the whole point? Not clear. God, this wasn't supposed to happen. None of this was supposed to happen. We need some news. We need to find out what's going on out there and when help is coming. Be careful. Zombie civil defense shit, the CDC. 
uh, found a body prop and the door opened, so locked my ass in here straight up. My name's Jamie Flint. Nick. Yeah, I see your shirt there, cowboy. So here's the deal. I can't call no one but you. Oh, man. But, you know, it ain't all bad. I got a bag of chips. I got a bag of monitor. I'm getting the hang of this civil defense system shit. Looks pretty sick. No, just hang on to this thing, man. I will call you back if I see anyone alive who needs help. Plus, maybe you can help me out with a couple of extra things if you are so inclined. So, listen, um, those illegals got some nice hideouts around town. There is one at the motel. Just going through you, and I'm both done. It's perfect for folks to wait this thing out. Yeah, a good place to store stuff, too. So, you check it out, and I will call you later. Enter, Grasshopper. Find sanctuary in peaceful garden. Holy shit. Did zombies get in? Are you okay? Sweet anger coursed through us. Is how universe tell us who target should be. Look, you know, just because you're talking all funny like that, it doesn't mean it's making any sense. Spirit of universe has slaughtered my happiness. And so, I must slaughter too. All who disrupt my garden of peace shall die! Oh, God. You did this. These people were just looking for safety. You've no right to kill them. You shall perish like the others. Get your slow. See ya! Me. I get fired. My wife leaves for a guy who sells the refrigerators. My kids grow up to be disrespectful brats. Now this a goddamn zombie outbreak. Seriously? General John Hemlock, which is already in progress. Please stay with us. We've not yet confirmed the cause of the ongoing outbreak, but it was almost certainly initiated by the turning of an illegally infected, unchipped person. Let this tragedy be a reminder to all Americans. Zombrex chipping is the law. Los Perdidos has been quarantined for the safety of those both within and without until the president is located. The threat of contamination remains high. Therefore, in six days, once we are certain all survivors have been rescued, we will have no choice but to deploy a large incendiary bomb, destroying all organic life within the city limits. What the hell? I am freaking organic life right here! All civilians are urged to report to a military quarantine station for chipping and evacuation. A list of stations will follow shortly, I am told. Holy shit. Quarantine station to production bridge? Jesus. I mean, how the hell are we gonna get there? We can't walk and drive. It's not so safe either. We could fix up one of those. Or both. Reinforce one with the other? Combine them to make something stronger? Yeah, yeah, that's the same idea I had. Just, just run with it. See what you can do, kiddo. Probably me. 
make more of these out on the road now that you know what you're doing. Let's get to that quarantine station. Nick, stay down! Diego, pongo su arma. Soy un Nick. 
shouting, so I came this way. I've been looking for the lady's chop shop you told me about. Nick, man, things are really bad, man. We are so screwed. Where's the rest of your unit? My unit got owned by the zombies. We were over at that new museum, you know, big deal exhibit. Freaking president was there. We let her down. All of a sudden, there were zombies everywhere. I just, I just freaking ran, man. Not like you all or some shit. They won't let anybody out. We're quarantined. That's why I wanted to find you, man. You can fix things, right? You can fix the plane, right? What is this about a plane? This collector guy donated an old military plane to the museum. My unit was supposed to get it ready. They could comply. It just needs some repairs and some gas or something. I got the key. Right here. Zombrex breaks too? I need it real bad. Hey, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm just here doing a job. I'm Gary. Who the hell are you? Nick Ramos. Hey, do you work in there? Can you help me? In there? No, no, not that kind of job. No, my boss is kind of a big shot around here. He helps people who are uh, desperate. So he's a crook. Hey, don't be rude. I like to say kingpin. I think it sounds a little classier. Anyways, I got to get in there and I got to get a body from my boss. I uh, tell you what, why don't why don't you climb up there, let yourself into the roof, then let me in. I know where the Zombrex is in there. You help me, I help you. I want you climb up there. All right. You don't want the Zombrex. That's not my problem. I'll catch you later, kid. Maybe. No, wait. You got a deal. All right. Here, let me do you a favor, Nick. Let me show you a little trick that'll come in handy sometime. Show you a little goodwill. All right, keep an eye on those zombies there. All right, watch them. Bro. 
Ron? No. No, I was wrong. It just looks like you're crawling. Over here. Come on. Help, help me. Help me, move her. Wait a minute. Oh. I helped you in this place. Now it's your turn to help me. Well, I don't know, pal. It looks like they're all out as arm bricks. I guess I'm just gonna wait for the inevitable. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Really, I am. I'm sorry. Hey, do you want me to off you? So you don't gotta suffer. Just hurry. All right, okay, I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. Coming right up. Oh my God. I think the safety's on. Can I, can I see the gun? Let me see the gun. Yeah. By the way, you're welcome. We just do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'm not the best shot. Give me a moment. Oh, shit. That was my last bullet. Wait a minute. Your wound is healing itself. I ain't never seen anything like that before. What kind of freak are you? I guess I don't know what kind of freak I am. I guess you don't need no Zombrex either. Huh. Well, it worked out okay, you know. I mean, I didn't really want to shoot you. You seem like an okay guy. Um, thanks. Okay, let's go. Don't help me, whatever. favor now that you're not dying or nothing. I need you to drive this stiff over to my boss's club. The diamond panty, it's right here in Ingleton. I gotta get something very important. Wait, listen, I gotta get back to my friends. We might have a way out of here. We found an old plane. We just need to find a few things to get it fixed. My boss is very well connected. Do you understand what I'm saying? Very well connected. I'm sure he could get you fuel, whatever you need for the plane. Just leave her in the car. I'll meet you in the club, all right? Come on, I gotta go. Okay, I'll meet you there. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, boss. No, I'm driving her over right now, sir. Yeah, I'm on my way. Right. Hello? Anybody in here? too happy. Turns out that's the wrong girl. You gotta help me find the right one. Me? I already did what you asked. Yeah, and I taught you my trick with the beast, so I'd say we're even. Why does your boss want to find someone so bad that'll wait around when a bomb's gonna go off? Don't you want to get out of here, Gary? Whatever. Not like I got any reason to live anyway. <sighs> Listen. You said you knew a girl who looked like that girl. Annie, you said her name was Annie. Now maybe that's the girl he's looking for, so why don't you go bring her back here, and we'll give you anything you want. We'll give you fuel for your plane, your friends, whatever. I don't know if I can do that to her. It's nothing personal, but... All right, well, I'll let the big bomb hit you in the ass on your way. I'll have to ask my boss if she knows where she went. She seems to know a lot about them and where they hang out. Okay. 
Okay. Don't leave me hanging here. Exterminate rats. Wait, wait, wait. He's okay. Yeah, I, I swear, I don't know what I was thinking. Now how do we know we can trust this chump? We found an old plane. It needs work, though, and some fuel. Red, this could be our chance. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a chance to prove it to you. Nick, this is Red. He's been leading up the resistance for. I'm a realist, Nick. Speaking of which. You guys help me find what I need. You know, maybe we can work together to get out of here. Yeah, I know some people with some fuel. But look at this, Nick. The government is killing off the survivors that they find. They're not saving them. So if you can do some things for us, you know, go out, burn some equipment, short out some radios, mess with some cameras. You do that, and you got yourself a deal. You really think they go that far? Maybe it's time for you to become a realist, Nick. All right, you got a deal. Plus, you got no other options. Hello? Anybody in here? Opportunity, or you lose the profit. Simple. The free market? 
And it's finest. You... You're a murderer. I'm a businessman. You're my next death lord. Sunshine. No! That's gonna kill my profit margin! I wanna get the hands on! But it's mine! said there's a computer recording of the attacks on the civilians over at the police station. It's from all the security cameras. We could bust them all with that when we get out of here. Mm -hmm. But first we gotta get the Angel. She thinks they found out her position. Well, I can go to the police station. I mean, if it's just getting that information off the computer. Think you can handle it, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right. Angel's on the second floor by the pool of a hotel in Central City. You go to the police station, handle that, and then you meet us there. Got that? You all right, Nick? You all right? Come on, Annie. We gotta get the angel. I'll keep you safe. Save us, Nick. I've seen it with my own eyes. The woman from the TV, Hemlock's head of security. She's killing survivors. Why are they doing this? At least justice will be served when that gets out and people see what happened here. Justice? Justice isn't going to bring Angel back. It's not going to bring any of us back. Sometimes I don't even know why we bother fighting. That's why. Look at her, Red. She was one of the family. We don't stop fighting if it's for family. Meet me at the top. 
shower in a couple of hours, okay? And I'll hook you up with the fuel, and then we'll all get out of this hellhole together.
station area over there behind that electrical fence. We had to cut the power to get on the inside of there, though. Power supply is probably in that main building over there. See ya, asshole! <gasps> Look, Nick, there's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can fight your way straight through, right? Or you can go around the perimeter and find a way to climb on the inside. Who on that? You found one of the uniforms? They look just stupid enough. They let you walk right past. But it's up to you now, Nick. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. where are you going? I'm going to go get an escape vehicle. You're going to go on the inside of that main building, which is probably HQ, and cut the power. And then get over to the detention area. I'll meet you on the inside, and we'll get our people out together. Inside? Right. So wait, what's the... plan? of the city while I'm still searching for him. I want my full six days, as you promised. That was never the primary purpose of this operation. As your commander-in-chief, I order you to release me. It's wonderful news that we found you, Madam President. Because you see, we really needed a body. just inside. You can't miss it. What the? What are you doing in here? You 
you all right? Do you need some help? Oh, shit. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh. <laughs> Just walked in the door and already presenting. No reason to get too excited? Why don't you? Go over there and lick that lollipop for me. Hey, man, I, I'm not licking anything here. Maybe a little pole dancing. Sorry, dude, really not in the mood. Oh, you will be. That door does not open again until you start being a little bit more obedient. If you don't listen to me, then I am going to be one angry daddy. <laughs> Why don't you try taking some of my suggestions? Maybe you'll find me a little more cooperative. I think we should just calm down, man. <laughs> Gave me blue balls, you tease. Uh. Did you turn her into that man to get the fuel? 
But you see, I came up with a different plan. <laughs> You're one of the good ones, Nick. I'm gonna find Diego. Hey, be careful out there. I worry about you. And don't let him hurt you. He looked about to claw his own skin off. That's what I'm talking about. God, you are incredible, Jerry. Excuse me, Jerry. It's not safe here. Uh, hey, mister. What did you say? Uh, I am no sir. I am Jerry with two eyes. I'm about to take home my long-deserved Miss Gigantic California trophy. No one is. Nothing God. gets in my way. Do you understand me? Hey, listen, it's, it's, it's probably been canceled because there's, there's a zombie outbreak out there. God, you're good looking. You know that? You winner, you. <laughs> you know, you really are indeed gigantic, sir. God, not a sir. Man, man. No, you are not going to beat me. I am Miss Gigantic California. Is it, bro? 
Nothing, man. Nothing. It's all good. Let's just go find those keys now. Huh? Oh, <laughs> it's you two. You scared me, Nick. I'm nervous something bad's gonna get in here. Like something worse than that. Whoa. Yeah. Nice paint job. Thought he'd be dead by now, Nick. But are you sure he's stable? Yeah. Yeah, he's totally fine. I think. Sadly, we have received video confirmations of President Paddock's death. General Hemlock has announced that martial law will be extended to the entire eastern seaboard, as the threat of contagion is still too high. Hemlock himself will be touring the perimeter of Los Perdidos as the rescue operation continues. Lord, what is this world coming to? Honey, I gotta figure out where we can find the parts she needs. Give me a few hours. Service? Are you okay? Yeah, the help took off days ago. You're like super late. And I'm not okay, okay? I need you to run down to the store and get me uh, some batteries for the remotes and uh, bug chips. I heard you might have a key to the armory. That's what I'm looking for. There's a zombie outbreak going on. Do you even know anything about this? Uh, I think it's around here somewhere. Great. Can you come give it to me? Look, you need to give me that key. There's weapons in that armory that could keep dozens of people alive. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna need a little downtime. You know, all this talky talk is just kind of sleepy. So I, I think I really need you to go now, okay? rich collector in Sunset Hills, the one with the plane fetish. He's got the parts. He wants to donate him. I say, let's help a man out. Hey, don't worry. He's okay now. Diego, let me put the fuel in the plane while Nick's gone. I can't do it by myself. chance to make things right. I, I should have never left my ex like that. He was a good man and I'd done him wrong and if he's out there, I gotta find him. What are you gonna do? Go back to my garage for a bit. 
figure out my next move. Wish I could change your mind. I'm gonna miss you, Ron. Closest thing to a family I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Man, that chick is crazy. Come on. Let's get Andy and the others from the karaoke bar and let's get the hell out of here. You take this, bro. I don't really trust myself anymore, you know? City. I'm taking my friends with me. 
there's that damn karaoke bar. City. People's lives are at stake. People's lives are at stake. How about my life is at stake? How about you think about me for a change? How about you give a shit about that? The boss has been on my case all this time over this Annie girl and bringing her back here. Well, I finally got her in there. Hold up. No thanks to you. For all I know, he'll off me if she gets away again. And he's going to be here soon. Well, I got anything to live for anyway. I'm all screwed up. What do I got? This crappy job? You hear me? It's a crappy job! Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. You hear me? I've been thinking about everything. Ever since this outbreak, I've been thinking about everything. I used to have a good... You know how good I had it? I was a wrestler. I made myself some big change. I had a beautiful wife, a big house. My wife, she was... A, she was a great mechanic, too. I screwed it all up. I screwed it all up. Oh, God, I miss my Rhonda so much. You laugh at me. You laugh at me? I pour my heart out to you, and you laugh at me! Did you say you'd do anything to see her on again? Stand still! You can let me in there? Don't make me mad at you, little pipsqueak jerk-off. All right, that's it. Either you get past me, or you do me a huge favor. That's the only way you're getting in here. Go ahead. Huh? Give me a ring. Because you seem a little intimidated by my unmistakable confidence and charisma, Nick. Oh, hey, did you know I'm changing my name? It's gonna be called Kick. Oh my god, I'm gonna kick your ass! Oh, the gratitude! Hey, wait a minute, Kick sounds a lot like. Oh, you know, I can also make combo weapons too. What the hell? You really think you can just walk in here and you know, do everything? It's, no, you can't just go around saving people's lives, Nick. No, 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 that's me, okay? That's me. I'm the hero. I'm the one that's been training years in my mom's basement for this shit. Me! I'm the one. Just watch me. Anything you can do, I can do it better. You know, you know what, Nick? I'm gonna take it easy on you. Because you look like you could use a break. Uh, uh, hey, maybe, maybe you need a... Maybe you need a sidekick, huh? What do you... Kick! Get it? Get it? Because um, my name is Kick! Uh, uh, it's gonna hit me dancer right now because they're gonna hate me. Rhonda? Are you in here? Rhonda? Oh god, Rhonda! Nick, honey, be careful! Jesus. tortured me. They took my fucking arm. Miranda, you'll be dead soon if we don't stop the bleeding. We only have a few minutes. Uh, first aid kit to stop the bleeding. Maybe at Roy's Mart. But they're still around here looking for you. I'll be right back, Miranda. Hang in there. Rhonda, stick with me, please. Rhonda? Rhonda? You asshole! Oh, oh, oh. Nick? I ain't going towards no freaking light just yet. Hell no! Okay, 
Listen, Rhonda, we need to get out of here. You gotta come with me. I told you, I can't. I found Gary. Gary? Oh my God. Oh my God, how? Where? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, my beautiful boy. Let's go. No. I can't go looking like this. I think that's the least of our problems right now. No. Help me up, come on. Uh, we gotta go. First impressions are everything. I'm not going until I look presentable. Get some acetylene tanks, a soldering iron, and a hinge. We'll rig something up. Go! Okay. shown up. You think that loser outside chased them off? Well, I told him if there were any problems to meet us at the plane, so maybe he's there. Let's go. And Nick. Annie? Uh, Red and I, we used to be together a long time ago. We're not now. He's still weird about it sometimes. It just seemed like he wanted to know. It seemed like I wanted to tell you that. I'm just really happy you keep showing up. Let's get to that point. Are you okay? Yeah, it just uh, brings back some bad memories, but where's everybody else? Uh, finally! You guys are okay? Where are the others? I don't know. I thought they were with you. No, Brett, we can't leave them. Not after everything. We can't. Okay. Alright. I got one last location I can check, alright? Mm -hmm. I already filled up. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, now we cannot sacrifice everyone else, okay? All right? So be ready when I get back. Nick, that's what they called you now? We must go. Wait, wait, you are Isabella Keys. I've heard rumors about no, you. No, you start to get... understand. What is it you have to tell me? No more hints, just out with it. Your government built a lab near my village. All to make fatter cattle for your fucking country to eat. And with the lab came soldiers from the U.S. Army. They did what young men do. They spread their seed. And then when Dr. Barnaby discovered the bees, well, the zombies came. And your government killed most of the survivors so no one will tell the truth. Carlito thought it would be fitting that he should send the children back to the country which helped create them. Little time bombs like your friend Diego. But he did not want to create something unstoppable. So he made one of the orphans in Mion. You are the little lad cow. 
Vamos con Carlito Plante. Me. You're what we've been waiting for. You can be cured. Dr. Marlon wants the cure. She would do anything to get it. She's looking for you now. We must go. Well, I know it doesn't look like much, but... We must take our chances now. Nick! Annie! Come on out here! Okay, that's red. We need to get everyone. Nick, please! Nick Ramos. 
Who are you? Chuck Green. Okay, it's okay. Dad, I mean, how, did, how did you find me? I found Gary. He overheard where you were going. I wanted to kill him for letting you go. I've never seen the fat bastard so happy. It's been a long time, Chuck Green. Isabella Keys. What the hell are you doing here? Your face. Dr. Mallon was always envious of me. At least I can still walk. It is imperative that we get this man to a safe place immediately. What, that little pipsqueak? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? He contains within him, within his body, the cure, the antidote to the parasite. Come, we must get to this plane. We don't have much time. Let's do this. Anybody who's still alive, and we'll truck him out of here. We'll find the way. I can't leave you guys. You're the important one, Nick. <laughs> Don't ever forget, you got a family right here. Okay? All right, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Cream of the crop. 
doing just fine, Annie. We're on our way, okay? Me and Dad. Then we have to pick up Isabella. She, she went back to the lab to find something. I was worried, Nick. I, I can't lose you now. Don't worry. You won't. somewhere. Those lives are inconsequential compared to the cure. That's why I've continued to work with you. That's why I've stayed here voluntarily to find a cure. In an outbreak, the orphan will realize his immunity and come forward, and your friend Hemlock might find that convenient as well. Oh, you're jealous of my work. You always have been. You're so desperate to find your mark. You think you work again? You think you'll be cured? Shut up! You're lucky I didn't take your legs as well. If they hadn't stopped me... I will be the one who goes down in history as the creator of the cure. Me and me alone, not you. I don't care what I have to do to find it. Why are you doing this? Is it for the money? I don't give a shit about the money. I'm going to make up for what my brother did and restore the good name of our family. Be a hero for once and for all time. Not that Frank West, not this Chuck Green. He left me to die once. They will all pale in my shadow. And I will find a cure. And no one will know you're a mass murderer. Interesting. I think I might finally be starting to like you, after all. 